Guys, if you've been hanging around the channel or checked out my live streams, you know that I am a huge John Wick fan. And ever since a John Wick spinoff ballerina was announced and that Ana de Armas was going to be starring in it, oh yeah, your boy's been locked in. And today, we finally got our first official trailer for the John Wick spinoff ballerina, and I can't wait. I'm not going to waste any time. If you enjoy the content, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, become a part of the Ultimate Watch Party. I don't even want to waste any time. I'm done talking. Let's check out the first official trailer for Ballerina. Let's go, baby. I'm ready. Do you like her dogs? I know a school where they teach dances. I could take you there if you'd like. Nah, homie is sus. To stop the assassin, you must become the assassin. Oh, Keanu Reeves. You will always be small. You want to win? Improvise. Adapt. Damn. Cheat. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Welcome to the continental. Eve Macaro and the Ruscaroma. What a pleasure to see you again. As soon as Ana de Armas was cast, I was locked in. <gasps> they got Norman Reedus in this thing? Oh, dude, that music hits. They killed my father. Oh, she's going to get her revenge. Or your money back. This isn't done until they're dead. Fate. Is a very humbling thing. Yo, that shot was crazy. Damn. You're him. The one they call the Baba Yaga. The boogeyman. How do I start doing what you do? Is he going to train her? Looks like you already have. Oh, guys, I'm so locked in. What the hell? From the world of John Wick, ballerina. Holy moly, guys. Okay, we just got our first look at Ana de Armas starring in the John Wick spinoff ballerina. And as a personal John Wick fan, John, I mean, John Wick, the films, are easily, hands down, some of my favorite action films I've ever seen, personally. And Keanu Reeves absolutely slayed in that role. Uh, I was very excited when they announced that they were going to be doing a spin-off movie, that Anna de Armas was going to be cast in it. And like I said, ever since that was announced, I was locked in. And I have been waiting patiently and impatiently for when we would finally get to see our girl jumping in to an iconic franchise like John Wick. And let me just say, let me just say, from first impressions, she nailed it. She's gonna nail it. I, 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 I'm, I'm so excited because when you look at like someone like Ana de Armas, it, it like obviously she was in the John, John, uh, James Bond films, and uh, she, you know, was really good in that. I really enjoyed it, but I never could see her being a part of this like very edgy, you know, kind of film, very dark, gritty tone. Um, it's not something I could, you know, necessarily envision until now. Now, after seeing her in this role, oh, it's it's all I can see now. It's all I can see. This is this is Emily Blunt in the uh, what was it, the day, the Edge of Tomorrow uh, with uh, Tom Cruise. Ever since that film, I've been such a huge Emily Blunt fan. And now, after seeing this, I feel like this this could be the film. I've been a fan of Honor de Armas for a while, but this could be the film where I'm just like, that I always reference as one of my favorite roles that she's in. So I'm excited to see her in this moment here. It's like, what in the Harry Potter? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like Harry against Voldemort in this scene, like in the over the top thing. Oh my God, guys, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm so excited. And the fact that Keanu Reeves wasn't necessary to be in this film, I don't think, you know, I think they could have done a spinoff and, and not had Keanu Reeves as sort of like this, this marketing, you know, pull to get people in i was excited and was going to see the movie regardless but i'm not complaining the fact that keanu reeves is in this film 
just gives me another reason to see it and obviously i don't expect him to be a big part of the film but he'll be he'll be in it you know what i mean like he will be in it and he will be you know he'll probably be a decent part of the film but you got norman reedus in this thing you got keanu you got ana de armas i mean i mean it's it's like what more do you want um i i think we saw was lance reddick i think this was one of his final roles that we're gonna see him in um i think we i think i saw him in this trailer uh, and, and again, just so many reasons to see this film. Obviously, we don't have a concrete release date for it yet, but whenever it does come out, which I'm assuming is 2025, is going to be awesome. And, and guys, <laughs> I don't want to belabor this. I don't want to belabor this, but we got to look at this, this moment right here. This moment right here is so badass. Uh, John Wick has always been so great at 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 really awesome shots and framing shots. I mean, you guys remember the over to, over the top gunfight that happened in John Wick 4? Absolutely insane. But this moment here where she blows up, she blows homie up and then literally closes the door and the shot just the way that they frame the shot and it exploding right behind her is just so sick like this is oh my god guys oh my god i'm locked in i'm locked in okay uh first impressions this looks fantastic uh another reason uh, to see this film so many reasons to see this film it, it looks it looks really awesome and it looks to have exactly that same kind of intensity and excitement from the john wick movies uh, in, in a new form. And I'm excited to see a badass woman take on, uh, kind of a, the John Wick universe and be out there, like, you know, annihilating people with pencils and whatever, you know, I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be references to some, a, a couple of classic John Wick kills. Uh, and I can't wait to see that those classic nods and maybe Keanu Reeves will say something funny, like, oh, that, you know, that's my move or <laughs> something like that. I don't know. I'm excited guys. John Wick ballerina coming soon. Uh, and I cannot wait. Let me know what you guys think of this trailer. Was there anything that stood out to you? Are you excited to see it? I uh, would love to know your comments comments down in the comment section and uh yeah for me personally dude i cannot wait to see this i hope it drops in 2025 but uh you know obviously they didn't give a release date so we'll just have to wait and see if you enjoy this content guys you you're excited about this trailer excited about this movie be sure to drop a like on this video as it greatly helps out and supports the channel comment down below how excited are you to see the john wick spinoff ballerina and subscribe if you're new here and would like to become a part of the ultimate Waja party that's all for me i'm gonna go watch this trailer about four more times thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next trailer